Well, hello, welcome to Beals Science. I'm Craig Beals and today we're in the chemistry lab because I wanna show you something that is, well, I think it's quite magical. We're gonna take two clear liquids and when we mix those clear liquids together, something magical is gonna happen. Only you're starting to find out if you ever watch this channel, it's not magic, it's science. I call this one golden snow or golden rain or Midas magic. I like to call it the golden snow globe. So stick with me. I'm going to show you how to make a golden snow globe that, uh, that is actually quite toxic. Don't do it at home. In fact, we're going to end up doing most of it right over there in the fume hood so that we can play it extra safe. But stick around and I am going to show you how you can do some science experiments at home and have them shipped directly to your house. Here's what we're going to need for this experiment. We need lead nitrate. We need potassium iodide. We need distilled water. And we're gonna need a little bit of glassware. The first solution we need is 0.1 molar potassium iodide. That requires 1.6 grams of potassium iodide dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. The second one is 0.1 molar lead 2 nitrate. We're gonna need 3.3 grams of lead 2 nitrate dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. You'll see that both of these solutions are clear because both of those are soluble in water. But watch when we mix them. We get this. Isn't this cool? Those two clear solutions mix together and make something new. That something new is not soluble in water anymore, which means we can see it it becomes a solid and it's eerily beautiful. Here's what we've got. This is lead to nitrate and potassium iodide. You can see those. When they react together, that's the other side of the arrow, it makes lead to iodide. Notice the S next to that. That means it's a solid. So we mix two liquids or two aqueous solutions and made a solid and we can see it inside of there. Now, I told you we were gonna make a snow globe. So that was a nice reaction, but in order to turn this into my special toxic snow globe, we're gonna heat it up so that when it cools down, it recrystallizes. We're gonna leave this on the hot plate for just a little while in the fume hood because we don't want any of these fumes coming into the lab. And we're gonna come back to that in just a minute. That's pretty cool on a small scale. But I want to step it up a notch, like as in go big. Because you know, I kind of live by the model if a little is good, more is better. Which isn't a good model to live by. It's actually quite foolish, especially in the science lab, but well, I've also been called foolish. So let's step it up. If a little's good, way more is way better. We're still gonna use 0.1 molar solutions, which means we need more of each of the chemicals and we're gonna use 500 milliliters of distilled water for each of them because we're just doing the same thing, but on a much larger scale. Also gonna use this massive burette. Burettes are usually used in titrations, but I wanna be able to see this whole reaction happen. I'm just taking a pipette and dripping some of our lead nitrate into the potassium iodide. We can see this solid forming. We can see the precipitate forming. And look, it's moving down to the bottom. It's more dense than the liquids around it. And eventually it's gonna fill up this whole space. Ah, there we go. So that's it. That's the precipitate. Look at it. You can see it falling out of the solution because it's not soluble. We mix those two clear things together and boom, we get this yellow precipitate. Isn't it wonderful? Let's go back to the flask we heated earlier. I let that settle and cool, and look what started to happen. That lead to iodide, as it cooled down, it crystallized. It made these beautiful lead iodide crystals. And this is why I call it the gold snow globe. I mean, look at these beautiful golden crystals falling out of the solution. So there we go. Through some simple chemistry, albeit toxic and harmful and not something you should probably do at home, we get this really, really magical reaction with golden snowflakes of toxic lead falling through our column. Isn't that awesome? And if you really want to be able to do amazing experiments like this at home, go and check out Mel Science. The link is down in the description. 
They were nice enough to sponsor this video because we share a vision that science should be amazing and it should be fun and it should be accessible to do at home. Just look at my own kids in the backyard having fun with science. Go and check out the link down there and head over to Mel Science and get some chemistry shipped to your home. But I want to remind you of this. What do I always say at the end of every video? Because I really mean it. Keep on learning. One of the great joys in life. You know, you get older like me and you don't have much left. Come over to BeelScience.com. I got a lot more learning over there too. Or hit the subscribe button down there and, or hit the like button. Anyway, take care.